First of all, welcome to the channel and thank you for stopping by. When time permits, please consider subscribing. I would greatly appreciate it. What we have behind me is my Alps Mountaineering Lynx One Person Tent. This goes for about $100 everywhere on the internet. I got it at Amazon. Underneath it is the flap to protect you from moisture. That's another $20, so $120 in, and this is the tent that I've been using this year. Purchased it over the winter. The tent I had previous to this was a two-person tent, which is a great tent, but primarily I had to get rid of it because it had poles that were more than 12 inches long, making it difficult to bring moto camping. This has poles that are just under 12 inches long, making it ideal for moto camping. It also comes in at only four pounds. Don't worry, yours won't come wrinkled. That's because I don't know how to put mine away properly. Let's take a look around the tent. This is a pretty standard backpacking tent. Narrow on the top, widens out quite enough for one person. I certainly wouldn't say this is something you could put two people in, but it's very comfortable for one. It's mostly mesh with a little bit around the front and even less in the back that is not mesh. One of the things I like about the tent is it's fairly stable without staking it down anywhere. So if you, like I did today, set it up where you're a little bit in the smoke, it's quite easy to pick it up and move it. Stay sturdy, doesn't fall down. Now let's go ahead and put the rain fly on, get a look at it with that. And here we are with the rain fly on. I think this is actually blowing out a little too white. It's actually a very light gray. And I do recommend staking it out in the front and in the back for improved ventilation. The rain fly comes out quite a bit. And the benefit here is that since we're moto camping, there's now plenty of room to take something as large as my 40 liter top bag and protect it from the moisture overnight. I put it there, I zip this up again. And while everything is dry in the bag, I don't have the bag out in the campsite. It's right with me in the tent. I would hear if anybody was rifling through it. And it's just a good place to keep it. And it's not soaking wet on the outside when I come out in the morning. All right, we have it set up for the night now. This holds my sleeping bag, but more importantly, this holds my important gear. I've got my tank bag, any valuables go in there. I've got my jacket, I've got my helmet, and we're gonna see how I fit in here as well. One of the things that was important for me when picking a tent was that I could do what I'm doing right now, which is more or less sit straight up. Now it's a little tight, but I don't like the tents that you crawl into. As light as they are, as easy as they are to pack, I just don't want to be hunched over like this or having to lie down the entire time. With the Lynx, it is uh, spacious for a one-person tent. Again, I fit a decent six-plus-foot pad, inflatable. I could go wider. It's got quite a bit more width that I'm not using. And sleeping bag, all of my camping gear, it fits in here and I never feel cramped but I am cramped enough that we'll go back outside. So that's it. The Alpine Mountaineering Lynx one person tent. I think it's pretty good. I've uh, used it multiple times this year. I have zero complaints. I have no desire to replace it. Uh, the only thing is it is definitely not quite a three season tent. I've been in this down into the high forties and it really doesn't retain heat. If you're gonna be down that low, anything under 50, you're probably gonna need a better sleeping bag. There's a lot of ventilation here and the heat just leaves it. But other than that, if you're gonna use it in the spring, you're gonna use it in the summer, you're gonna use it very sh shortly into the fall. It is a fantastic tent and you can't beat the price. If you stuck around this long, thank you. I appreciate it and take care.